Hello everyone, Vanguard of Valor here once again with another episode of Vessel. We've been working our way through the orchard here after having finished the factory a couple episodes ago. And we're on to our fifth of the broken windmills. So let's see what we have to do in here. We've got two buttons. Let's see what the top one does. Releases a red fluoro. Seems to fill up, start filling up these chambers until something empties it. Hmm. So I have to find a way to activate this without another red fluoro coming in and breaking it. So I have to find a way to kill that fluoro when it comes out. I've got an idea though. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a... Hmm. How am I going to best do this? Put a feeder fluoro down, I think. Feeder fluoros do their job quite well for the most part. We'll put some blue down because the blue and red react strongly together. Oh no, come on, let me climb. There we go. And I'm gonna spray some blue down here. I might need a little bit more than that. But not too much, because I need to be able to hit this button first. Now come back. Here's more blue for you. Come back. Come back. Quickly! The blue needs to hit the red! Yeah! Success! I think that should do it. That should fill all three gas chambers. Open the door up above. Perfect. That was pretty easy. Pretty easy. All we had to do was murder some fluoros. That's five working windmills. All we have to do now is fix the bonus one. We fixed everything we need to do in order to get to the boss. Black boss. Yeah, I know it's old. I know. But old habits die hard. Here we go. What's this is a long walk. <laughs> What's over here? We can go down or we can go up. Up has a tram car that needs to be powered by steam. Down. Is this like a what is this thing? Oh my goodness. I know what this is. This is a combustion engine. <laughs> Isn't it? That's going to make some red. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I have to power it first. But I bet you that piston is a part of a combustion engine. And if it is, that's hilarious. And I'm totally down for setting up this machine. Okay. I'm guessing this thing is not going to work yet because we don't haven't powered the engine. Yeah, no. It's an enormous bike chain, too. It's also great. Yeah, here's a red... Uh... Oh, hang on. There's a secret tunnel up in there. That's quite the jump there, Arkwright. Jumping backwards up the hill. Okay, let's water this thing. Water this puppy. Let's see if we can't figure out our way up there. Actually, I think I know how to get up there. We need to kill this guy quick. Oh no! Don't touch the blue! Ah! Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> you don't touch the light. Damn it. That's not what I wanted you to do. You need to die in here. Maybe your friend will run with me. If I knock him out of the tree. Come on. Splat! Oh no.
There we go. There's some right in there. Don't know if that's enough, but we'll try it and we'll see. Looks full anyway. Oh, it looks full of blue. Or water or something. Not what we want. There's the red. <laughs> now we need our blue. Spray it out in there. Pow! <laughs> that was easy. Plenty to spare. That's pretty crazy though, they've invented the internal combustion engine based on these different colored fluoros. Oh. So now we need to remember to jump off this tree so that we can gather whatever uh, protoplasm is left hidden there. Oh. Oh no! Dang it threw me off the tree. Okay. This is a noisy machine, though. Whatever else you can say about it, you can't say that it's quiet. Well, yup. Ooh, not again. Not this time, sucker. Protoplasm to me. Two out of five. It's like the last. Oh, come on. Let me out of this tree. I fell out of it when I didn't want to, and he won't let me out of it when I do want to. But, um. If it's anything like the last level, once we get up to the boss fight, there'll be a bunch of protoplasm waiting free for us there. Oh. Hopefully, this will be our last time riding the bike chain up. I'm not really sure how this thing is being pulled, because, I mean,. For the most part, it's not touching the gear. It's just the ends that are touching. I guess that would do it, but... Still, it doesn't seem sufficient. Well, this is a big building. Big windmill, I guess. Of the last one. Huh. What's going on in here? We got a red goop dispenser. Yeah, just don't hang around. So I gotta make something in the red goop dispenser. I click on the lights. So it looks like we're not talking about feeders this time. Because I can't get up there to pour anything in there, and there's no reason for them to take the long way around. Okay. We got a blue goop dispenser here. That's not what I meant to do. I come down here and click this button. I can just skip it, but I don't want to. This is clearly the bonus, the sixth puzzle. So we need to way, find a way to get them to die in here so the explosion will blow this button up. Hmm. Hang on, can I spray through here? I'm going to take the blue and I spray it into this hose. It does come out up there. Wonderful. So if I were to take another one, put it in there. Ta-da! We have our red feeder. So our... Let's see, we want our blue guy to go back to the other side for now. Oh, that's not working. Don't you get too fat now, otherwise I'm not going to be able to use you for anything. Somehow, I'm going to need to get them to go across simultaneously, and that's going to be a pain in the butt. Because I can't really send red across. I guess red does have to be a control node. Yeah. 
Because if red is a feeder node, I can't spray the red. But I can spray the blue around using those tubes. So let's try this again. So this time with the control node. Ow! Because the lights are all turned on, so he should want to jump up and head in there. Oh no, I'm in the wrong place! Uh, I'm gonna be going too fast now. Yeah, no, he's too fast. Might have been able to do it, actually. I'm not sure. Alright, let's bring him back to the other side. The stage is set. All I have to do is do it properly. So what we're going to do, I think, is we'll spray the blue first and then the red. So we'll spray... and pray. Pow! The pressure activated it. Alright, so that seemed to be the right way to do it. Looks like a pretty closely timed thing. But that was the trick. Number six. Absorbed. And that's all six windmills back of functioning. Windmill repair consultant achievement unlocked. Thank you very much there, game. So let's see where we're going next. So we're going right into the control booth. Dun dun dun! The chemical labyrinth. Uh oh. I've reached the central processing plant for this orchard, where all the pulp is piped in from across the work site, and from the sound of things, it's been infested with fluoros. Somewhere beneath this plant is the efficiency experiment, a modification of my original turbines. I'll need to get down there and find a way to stop the machine if I'm to cease the fluoro chaos from propagating further. Well, this sounds like an adventure for M. Arkwright. Which is me. <laughs> yes. Oops, red. Oh, I see. This is the uh, thing activated by the windmills that I had to have solved. And uh, ta-da! Protoplasm on my face. What's this? Why are you showing me this? I know they like to drink blue goop. Oh my goodness! They can split! They've invented cloning! <laughs> This does seem a little bit more dangerous than I had originally anticipated. Come on, you can climb that ladder. Man, Arkwright, you may be a great inventor, but no, you cannot climb. Fluoromitosis. Remarkable! That drink of fluoro which will altogether enhance ability upon reaching capacity, it's split into two equally functioning fluoros. It appears to contain no trace of its original trait of self-destruction, suiting it much better for this resource-rich environment. The rate at which these fluoros are adapting is astounding. Alright, well, it looks like we've got a strange new world to explore with these transforming fluoros. So, I think we're going to have to leave that for the next episode. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye!